In this video, we will talk about NEO's recent challenges and opportunities in the dynamic world of electric vehicles. You're going to dive into the intense competition NEO faces in the Chinese EV market, where it's not just battling Tesla, but also local contenders like Liotto, Xpeng, and BYD. Picture a crowded arena where NEO is navigating through a fierce landscape, fighting for its market share. It's a battlefield, and the stakes are high. So, let's unravel the layers of NEO's current standing and the competitive jousting in the Chinese EV space. NEO has a lot going on in the electric vehicle industry, contending with heavyweight rivals like Tesla, Li Auto, Xpeng, and BYD in the fiercely competitive Chinese market. The competition is cutthroat, and this intensity has its repercussions on NEO's market standing. In response to the pressure, NEO has decided to cut costs, opting to lay off 10% of its workforce. To add another layer to the strategy, NEO made an announcement back in June about slashing prices for its vehicles. Now, why would they do that? It's a way NEO is maneuvering on the battlefield, adjusting its tactics to stay competitive. Price cuts might attract more attention and customers, but it's a double-edged sword as it affects the company's profit margins. Now, what other challenges is NEO grappling with? Let's talk about its financials. In Q2, NEO reported a staggering $835.1 million loss. Yes, you heard it right. That's more than double the loss from the previous year and nearly 30% higher than the hit in the first quarter. Compare that to the same period last year, and it paints a vivid picture of the uphill battle NEO is facing. The numbers tell a story of increasing losses, and analysts aren't exactly optimistic about a sudden turnaround. The outlook remains on the gloomier side, indicating a bumpy ride for NEO's financial performance in the coming months. But here's where it gets concerning, the cash situation. NEO's cash reserves are on a downward trajectory. At the end of June, it stood at $4.3 billion, down from $5.5 billion just three months prior and a substantial dip from the $6.6 .6 billion at the close of 2022. It's a red flag that points to serious liquidity concerns down the road. Yes, NEO did raise $1 billion in September from convertible notes, but rumors of another capital raise are circulating. The cash burn rate is a real concern, and if the company keeps going at this pace, it could face some serious financial turbulence in 2024 or 2025. Now, do you want to hear some good news? Despite the financial turbulence, NEO has been flexing its muscles in the delivery department. In October alone, the delivery surged by a whopping 60%. This surge adds up to a year where NEO delivered 126,067 vehicles, marking a solid 36.3% increase compared to the previous year. The positive side is clear. People want NEO's electric rides. It's a testament to China's growing appetite for EVs, with battery electric vehicles accounting for about 25% of the country's automotive sales in September. Now, while the delivery numbers are skyrocketing, profitability is nowhere in sight for NEO. The financial reports show losses piling up, painting a paradoxical picture. It raises a critical question, can sustained growth in deliveries coexist with a lack of profitability? For NEO, the challenge lies in converting the delivery momentum into a profitable journey. Otherwise, it's like having a car with no brakes, exciting but could lead to a financial collision. Moreover, NEO wants to expand its horizons and has its eyes set on the highly competitive U.S. market by 2025. However, the U.S. electric vehicle arena is no walk in the park. It's a battlefield where established players like Tesla have already claimed territory. NEO is entering a space where it's not just competing against other electric vehicles, but facing off with traditional auto giants. The challenges are substantial, from meeting stringent regulatory standards to winning over the hearts of American consumers. Now, here's an exciting twist. NEO plans to build cars in China for the U.S. market, bypassing the conventional approach of manufacturing locally. It sounds like a bold move, but without the benefit of tax incentives that U.S. automakers enjoy for local production, it's a strategic gamble that could impact NEO's financials. Tax incentives can significantly affect the cost structure, and without them, NEO might face higher production costs, potentially squeezing profit margins. What about NEO's stock market performance? In the past three months, NEO's stock took a hit, dropping by a substantial 45%. It's like watching the value of your favorite stock plummet after a thrilling ride. Investors are feeling the heat, and nervousness is in the air. Adding to the woes, NEO's stock is down by 15% for the year. Now, let's put this into perspective. While NEO grapples with a downward slope, its peers, Xping and Liotto, are surfing on a wave of gains. Xping stock is up more than 75%, and Liotto's stock has nearly doubled in 2023. 
So, what's cooking in the investor's pot of concerns? It's a mix of factors contributing to the bearish outlook. Investors are on edge from the recent decline in deliveries and Neo's financial struggles to the broader market sentiment. Price cuts impacting average selling prices and reducing gross margins have also raised eyebrows. The big question lingering is, can Neo shift gears and reverse this bearish trend or are investors in for a longer ride on the downward slope? But before we continue, we want to thank you for watching this far. Now, looking into Neo's past, it had a unique start as more than just an electric vehicle manufacturer. Initially positioned as a lifestyle brand, Neo was more than a vehicle. It embodied a particular way of life. Picture it as something beyond the traditional car buying experience, where customers engage with the brand in a deeper, more personal way. However, this image took a hit with the winds of change brought by President Xi Jinping's tech crackdown. Like a sudden storm, the crackdown impacted tech-related industries, including Neo. Initially thriving on a lifestyle narrative, Neo faced headwinds as the Chinese government tightened its grip on the tech sector. The crackdown forced Neo into a corner, requiring a government-directed bailout. In response to this turbulence, Neo isn't sitting idly. Neo is diversifying its strategy, shedding its initial lifestyle-focused approach. This involves not just a change in narrative, but concrete actions. Staff reductions are part of this strategy. Furthermore, analyzing Forbes' take on Neo's stock performance reveals a challenging scenario. Despite these challenges, there are reasons to consider Neo's stock. Reports indicate that Neo is targeting a gross margin of about 15% by the fourth quarter of this year, signaling a potential improvement. Moreover, recent positive developments, such as the October delivery number surge, provide hope. Neo is also taking proactive measures, planning to cut its workforce and defer or cut non-performing investments to streamline operations and enhance financial performance. Morgan Stanley adds a positive note to this narrative, expressing confidence in Neo's restructuring efforts. They believe the recent moves, including the plan to cut the workforce, should alleviate market concerns on cash flow and financials. While the stock has faced a turbulent period, Morgan Stanley's perspective suggests a potential turnaround. In fact, they maintain a bullish outlook, with an overweight rating and a $18.70 price target, indicating the possibility of Neo's stock more than doubling in the next year. Now, considering all these dynamics, it's a pivotal moment for investors. Will Neo overcome the barriers and stage a remarkable recovery, or is the challenging terrain too steep? Join the conversation in the comments below. And while you're at it, make sure to smash the like and subscribe buttons down below. Additionally, if you want to know more about Neo's future outlook, I highly recommend watching this amazing video. Simply click this video right here. Thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for more exciting content in the future.